anger, shock, and disgust, powerful emotions sweeping over parents in Polk County tonight. Deputies saying surveillance video shows a school bus driver giving a little girl a piece of candy with the intention of molesting her. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Raich tells us how deputies were tipped off to this behavior. Tonight, anger and outrage towards a man who parents trusted with their kids. I hope that all the inmates in them sales just demolish that dude. Carlos Ojeda worked as a bus driver in Davenport and Haines City for nearly a decade. But just this week, look what detectives caught him doing. Investigators say that's him luring one of his victims to the very front, somewhat out of view of other students. They say in his hand right there is a piece of candy used as bait so he could molest them under their clothes. We don't know how long it's been going on, but clearly he's done this over and over again. Perhaps the most troubling part, the victims have special needs. Investigators suspect Ojeda targeted them because they wouldn't tell on him, but someone did. We want to commend the student that reported this to his counselor. Um, it was a very brave student who saw this abuse. Detectives know for sure Ojeda molested at least two students eight different times. Today, outside Horizon Elementary, one of the driver's stops, parents' top concern is the other kids with special needs. What about kids like my nephew? You know, he can't talk. He can't tell you, hey, I was, you know, raped or whatever. The school district tells us they sent out a voice message to all the parents of kids on that bus, urging them to speak with their kids about what happened with the hopes of finding more victims if there are some. The only thing I know, they say hi and that's all. Neighbors at Ojeda's Haines City home described the bus driver as a recluse, locking himself indoors after his route. Tonight, he's locked up in jail instead, while detectives work to get some worried parents the answers they deserve. It's very sickening. In Davenport, Ryan Raish, ABC Action News.